Hey, welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are building a rat rod. I've got a couple parts here I have sourced from various cars. You guys probably recognize this base and this uh, little engine package here. We've worked on one of these before. It's the uh, Max Grundy 29 Ford. So I pulled the cab off it and I was thinking this would be a badass cab. But we are going to have to do some cutting. I got to get rid of all these running boards and this. And first things first, we're going to free this cab section from these running boards. And now because the engine was always attached to this, now we'll have our first look at what this is going to look like on this 29 Ford frame. Let's have a look. Yeah. I like where that's going. So I think the next step is going to be, I'm going to strip the paint off of this and we're going to start doing some work on this body and get it in shape to go on the frame. And I'm just going to try to smooth it to the body like it never existed. Kind of like this side. Okay, fenders removed. Now we are getting somewhere. A real nice clearance on our wheels. I think I'm feeling that. We'll finish that off down there and that's where we'll put our, our turn indicators. That'll be pimp. We're going to be way cooler than this thing. I'm just going to carve it up really good in there with my file so we got a nice nice surface for our putty to bite on. We'll do the same over here in the front. It's really scuff it up good. Okay, I've got everything prepped for putty. One step that we should do is whenever you're using putty, you got to make sure that this stuff is degreased and super clean. So for maximum bond, I'm going to go wipe this down with a little bit of alcohol. We'll come back and we'll put some putty on here. So I ended up going to the store to get some of my high heat. I did attempt to do my regular putty work using the steel stick, but unfortunately it doesn't stick to the die cast as well as this high heat stuff. So I'm going to back burner the steel stick and we're going to go back to what I know and what I love. That's this stuff. So I'll go ahead and I'll mix this up right now. A little bit of water. That's what I like. This stuff is a lot more firm than the steel stick. Okay, I clearly have way more than I need. That is okay. Do the front. Well, it doesn't look like much, but I just wanted to fill in this front end so I could shape it into a nice, into a little bit more realistic looking front end on this body. So I do have some extra in the windshield space and some coming out the back here, but that's okay. It comes off very easily, so I'm going to set this aside. Just let it harden up for 10 minutes and we'll come back and we'll start getting it into shape. It's been about 10 minutes and this stuff is getting pretty solid. I think I'm going to start trimming. You don't want to wait till it's totally dry or else it's really difficult. So let's just start getting rid of some of this stuff we don't need. Boop. So the whole reason we're doing this is just to extend this bottom a little bit to remove that tab that was in there. A little bit better. This should be completely rounded. So this is a very uh, unrealistic representation of like a, I don't know, like a, like a 32 Ford, I'd say. Everything's a little bit off about this casting, but we're going to make it work and it's hopefully it's going to look really cool. Oh, 
I like it. Yes, yes. So I've opted to use a metal base for the back instead. I've got our front end of our 29 Ford on there and I lowered the rad and the engine to get it as low as I could without it scraping on the ground. So our engine plugs in there nicely. Kind of hides the transition from plastic to metal base. You'd never see it on the shelf. This base is going to fit really nice and that's going to be the kind of overall look of our rat rod but it really bothers me that I don't have posts right here. Look how low that rat is. Just scraping along. My mama pan. Feeling pretty good about everything else here. We're gonna have to mock up some custom tail lights or something on here. We're getting pretty close to getting into the paint booth. I just want to do a little bit of final clean up here to make sure I got all my nasty fingerprints off, everything. I would like to put a little putty over my uh quick weld. I'm just using to me a white. And you gotta go quick with this stuff. Beauty. We'll give that uh, a chance to harden up and dry. We'll come back and do some finished sanding. And I think we're going to be about ready to go into the paint booth. Just making sure my putty is nice and smooth. The Tamiya is doing a really nice job. That's, that's feeling really good there. We'll do the front. We're going to use a gray sealer as my primer. I'm going to put on quite a bit of it, and by quite a bit I mean like a lot of coats. Probably like five or six coats. It's going to help smooth out the lines of any body work we did. So I'm going to mix up a good batch of this. All I need to do is reduce it. We'll reduce that with a little bit of 4012. All right, so it looks like I got a lot going on here. I mixed up a light colored brown, which I want to be our final color. It's looking real good. The general idea for this car, what I was going for, was not a rust bucket. This would be a car, you know, that was a pretty straight body. Maybe you did a couple little repair jobs on it and you wanted to protect it with an El Cheapo paint job. That's kind of what I'm going for. It should look pretty sweet. All right, we're all mixed up here.
I painted in our vinyl top and I just started doing a little little teeny bit of subtle distressing, not even distressing, more like just dirtying it up a little bit. But I was thinking, you know, we got such a wide open space here. We need something else. So I think we're going to do some flames. Beauty. I like that. Just gonna lightly dust them with some flat white, and then we'll come in and we'll just sand them real careful. We should end up with something sweet. So now the tricky part is trying to match up the other side. The guy who printed these out for me mentioned that there's a low tack vinyl out there. That would be a huge huge priority to get low tack because what happens is the uh, the adhesion strength of this vinyl is stronger than the vinyl itself so if it sticks and then you go to peel it off you can tear this vinyl extremely easily so low tack I think would be key I think that is gonna work out okie dokie for me so now I'll just mask off the rest of this and then we can just a little spray spray and we'll get this bad boy going. Very high stress. This is where the vinyl tears our paint off the body. Trying to just do some circles so it doesn't uh, sand out a straight line. So I've got the back end of the car up in the air here to do some tail lights. Oh, there goes that one. So these look like little diamonds. I know it's hard to see. If you're looking for cool little tail light ideas, what I like to do is whenever I'm uh, at the thrift store looking for cars, I buy little things like this. This is a brooch. It's a costume jewelry kind of thing. This is loaded up with all these little, you know, fake crystals. And you can just pop these out of here. It's with the edge of uh, an X-Acto knife. Boop. To me, these are little tail lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue a couple of these face down. Why are you shaking, Dad? <sighs> and now we can just hit this with a little Sharpie because it's transparent. And we'll end up with a raised lens. I think we're done. Let's reminisce what we started with here. 25th anniversary Redline Demon Replica Casting. Looks decent, right? Check this out. <laughs> Open headers like that, it would be loud as hell. Boom. Awesome. I love everything about this thing. Let's get it on the rotisserie. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I had a really good time working on this car. I wasn't quite sure how everything was gonna end up. I had no plan in the beginning, but I think it ended up looking pretty cool. Next video out, I think we're doing a beach bomb, side loading beach bomb. And uh, yeah, that should be out pretty soon. So until next time, I suppose, uh, keep your stick on the ice and uh, have a great day fam. See you later.